the one year old blue blooded English Bulldog, born in Fallbrook, California, on October 22nd, 2022. He is a after Major General Bruno Hoekman, who at the time of his death was the first general officer killed from the Vietnam War. Major General Hoekman was also the commanding general of the depot from November of 1963 to February of 1967. General Hoekman was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal. Merit with Combat B for Valor, the Navy Combination Medal with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award, and the Purple Heart with Gold Star in lieu of Third Award. Private First Class Widow continues the tradition of a long line of Marine Corps Bulldog mascots dating back to 1921, when Brigadier General Spendin Buckman appointed Sergeant Major Jibs as the first Bulldog mascot for Marine Corps Barracks once ago. Private First Class Widow is being escorted by Bob. From a Sarah Crawford. Let's go! 
The platoons are now in a line from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. The next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wear headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Order! 
following the command. Parade rest. The parade adjutant will give the command sound off, which signals the band to parade forward of the assembled marines while playing military marching music.
throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title of the United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the dedicated service to the United States. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Battalion Commander for 2nd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel James R. Smith. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Brigadier General James A. Ryan, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, as well as on behalf of Colonel Peter M. Roman, Commanding Officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, welcome to the graduation of Company F. To start, I'd like to recognize today's parade room official, Sergeant Major Hume whose impressive biography you will hear shortly, and who presently serves as the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps for the Republic of Korea. Sergeant Major, you and your Marines are critical partners in the global security and peace, so thank you for joining us here today. I would also like to recognize some special guests of the Commanding General, a group of educators from Texas, Colorado, and Utah, who spent the past week learning about the Marine Corps. I'd like to say thank you for your curiosity about what we do. But more importantly, I'd like to say thank you for what you do for the youth of America. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for our educators. <laughs> it's my distinct pleasure to speak to you this morning for just a few minutes to express both the pride and the gratitude which I feel for this formation behind me. And that begins with you, the friends and families of these new Marines. Thank you for trusting us with your loved ones. Thank you for your love and support on their journey to this momentous day, and thank you for your continued support in their new vocation. From all of us, welcome to the Marine Corps family. And speaking of families, seated to the right of the reviewing stand are the families of the Company F staff. And no one knows more than you the time and dedication that it takes to transform a civilian into a United States Marine. Sergeant Major and I are incredibly grateful for your sacrifice and support which enables these drill instructors and officers to perform this critical task. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for the families of Fatal Fox? You know, making Marines is truly a team effort, and at the forefront of that effort are Marine recruiters stationed across this great country. These men and women work tirelessly to identify, educate, and inspire the next generation of Marines. This legion of recruiters represented today graduation. My other partner in the endeavor to make Marines are the instructors at Weapons Field Training Battalion, who teach the critical combat skills necessary to fight and win in any climate and place. They're represented today by Corporal Gary, our top performing marksmanship instructor from the rifle range. Ladies and gentlemen, would you join me in a round of applause for our recruiters and our combat instructors. Well done, Marines. The last group I'd like to recognize certainly needs no introduction, for everyone knows the distinct campaign cover of a legendary Marine Corps drill instructor. And from the moment a recruit arrives in the depot, there is a drill instructor with them, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, tirelessly instilling the qualities and esprit de corps of the United States Marine and leaving an indelible mark on those they lead. Trust me, these Marines will never forget the name, the face, or that sweet, tender, gentle, loving voice of their drill instructors. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the Marines who make Marines, the drill instructors! <laughs> These Marines behind me are on average 20-year-old high school graduates, and 11 have college degrees. They come to us from every state and territory in the Western recruiting region and 13 countries around the world, having emigrated from places like South Korea, Guatemala, and Germany. And when they raise their right hand and sworn up to support and defend the Constitution of the United States, they differentiated themselves from 99% of their peers. Upon arrival here, these drill instructors forged them 
in the fires of martial discipline, shaping their minds and bodies in the mold of generations of Marines who have worn our cloth. These new Marines proved themselves worthy, carrying heavy loads, long distances over rugged and mountainous terrain to be where they're needed, when they're needed, to accomplish any mission. You may notice some change in your new Marine. They stand a little taller, look a little leaner, and sport an outstanding Marine Corps hairstyle. And moms and dads, I guarantee they know how to make their bets. But the truly important change is the one that's taken place then. They have been immersed in our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And by virtue of standing here today, they have embraced those as their own. So it is because of this, because of the journey they have undergone, and because of the moral, mental, and physical development they have displayed, that I am pleased to present 311 young men and women who can forever proudly claim the title United States Marine. And if you'd excuse me for just a minute, I'd like to address the newest members of our family. Good morning, Marines. Good morning, Sergeant Major and I are incredibly proud of you. We've watched you learn, strive, and grow these past months, and we are pleased to welcome you to our ranks. You can be justifiably proud of what you've accomplished here. You learned to tan belt in a martial arts program. Some of you learned to swim in water survival training, and many overcame the fear of heights in our confines and also, of course. You learned weapons employment to deliver precision fires on targets from a staggering distance of 500 yards, and in a final test, you completed the grueling crucible, where you were required to demonstrate exemplary character, physical and mental toughness, the ability to decide, act, and communicate, leadership, and a warfighter spirit. And every Marine, past and present, expects you to display those same attributes in your future trials. So having completed the most rigorous recruit training on this globe, you are ready to carry on our tradition as America's Naval Expeditionary Force in readiness. As you go forward in the next leg of your journey, I implore you, be safe, be smart, and make good decisions. Remember, that eagle glove and anchor pressed into the palm of your hand atop the river represents 248 years of Marines who have come before you. You must always be worthy of that legacy and protect what you've had. So on behalf of Marines, sailors, and civilians here aboard the Marine Corps Crew Depot, let me offer you a traditional naval party of fair winds in the following scenes. Congratulations, Marines. Semper Fidelis. Welcome to the Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade review official, Sergeant Major Yoon Seong Kyung, Sergeant Major Republic of Korea, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Orange of Aileeny, Sergeant Major Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego at the West Recruiting Region. South Korea enlisted in the Republic of Korea Marine Corps as an infantryman in February of 1990. He has served in a variety of challenging billets and numerous commands to include drill instructor, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps Education and Training Command from 1991 through 1998. Non-commissioned officer in charge of administration, Yong Pyong Unit, South Korea. Recruit Training Regimental Sergeant Major, Republic of Korea Marine Corps Education and Training Command. 
Sergeant Major, Republic of Korea, Marine Corps Marine Aviation Group. Sergeant Major Yu is currently serving as the Republic of Korea Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Sergeant Major Yu has earned many awards and distinguished throughout his career, including a 2014 Republic of Korea Chief of Naval Operation combination, a 2017 Chief of Naval
Canadian drill instructor, Staff Sergeant Walker C. Stanton.
the commander is Captain Stephanie L. Spanger. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Ernesto A. Sanchez. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Company F. Ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guy arts.
The undergraduate for Hunter, 2126, is Private First Class Eric C. Lopez from Sunland Tahunga. And the undergraduate for Hunter, 2127, is Private First Class Dalton D. Spencer from Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the undergraduates of Pomonia. First start reporting us order. Dismiss the company. Aye aye, Matt. <laughs> the company first sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout the crew training.